is from Brown Solo, who says, Thank you, JB, for all you do. What's your opinion on the best Express Alerts receiver for a 7-inch Mountain Cruiser? Thank you for $5, Brown Solo. Brown Solo, the first question you got to ask with um, with Express LRS is 2.4 gigahertz or 900 megahertz. 900 megahertz is a lower frequency, therefore it is going to get more range and penetration. However, it is not going to have as high a data rate. The 900 megahertz, for whatever for, for reasons that I don't want to go into, because I'm not 100% sure I'll get them right, so I'll just hand wave. 900 megahertz maxes out at 200 hertz packet rate, whereas uh, 2.4 gigahertz can go all the way up to 1,000 hertz. So the latency isn't going to be quite as low. But the idea, I think, is that 900 megahertz is for like long range cruising. And let's face it, 200 hertz packet rate is still pretty freaking good. Like that's pretty good for low latency. And then 2.4 gigahertz is for, well, still, you could go really long range on 2.4 gigahertz. You can go really long range, but 900 megahertz is going to be just a little better. And the place where 900 megahertz is going to be better is, in my opinion, don't worry about 900 megahertz if what you plan to do is fly straight up in the air and fly straight out and do like a 50 kilometer shot straight out, right? But the place where, because it can do that, it's been demonstrated to do that. It just can do that. It can outfly your video pretty much every time. Where the place where 900 megahertz really comes into play is if you're flying like mountain cruising, where there's a chance that you might fly a little bit behind a mountain, or you know you might not have the most perfectly clear line of sight, and that's where 900 megahertz will buy you just a little bit more margin that you might actually need. So for mountain cruising, I would say 900 megahertz is the place to be, and thankfully, uh, Radio Master just released a line of 900 megahertz modules and 900 megahertz receivers, the Radio Master Bandit line, and it's not the first 900 megahertz module to come out. There, there have been others, but I I get a warm fuzzy from Radio Master hardware. It's usually pretty good. And especially when you're doing long range, you want to have a warm fuzzy about that. And um, uh, so we, I might go this direction. Here's the Bandit BR3 900 megahertz diversity receiver. Is it full diversity? Five hundred milliwatts of telemetry output. Wow. That's impressive. That's going to get you a long range telemetry. I can't tell if it's true diversity or antenna diversity. I feel like it's antenna diversity or they'd say. <clears throat> I guess we could tell by, by looking at the board because we would see two of the, um, two of the uh, chips on it. Yeah, no, it's antenna diversity. That's okay. It's not the end of the... It would be nice if it was full diversity, but so, so it's antenna diversity. It's not the end of the world. Um, so that's uh, what I would do. Although I will tell you, the Emacs Aeris 915 megahertz module goes up to 2 watts. And that's twice as much as the Bandit. And although Emacs is not, like, known for making modules... I have it on good authority from some folks who do a lot of long range flying. I'm not going to tell you who they are because what they're doing isn't legal <laughs> where they are, like most long range. But I have it on good authority from some nameless folks who do a lot of long range flying that this is a pretty solid module. So I would probably think about the Aeris Link because it goes up to two watts and uh, the Radio Master receiver. Yeah. Um, 